Hello, Arkansas Phi Beta Lambda members and advisors. My name is Marie Bruno, and I'm the Executive Director of the Arkansas Economic Acceleration Foundation, an affiliate of the Arkansas Capital Corporation Group here in Little Rock. It's time for the 15th Annual Donald W. Reynolds Governor's Cup Collegiate Business Plan Competition. We want you to be part of it. Do you or someone you know have a good business idea for a product or service that's either new or better than what's already out there? Do you think it'll make money? If so, you need to put it to the test and consider entering the Governor's Cup. This competition is free. All you have to do is be enrolled and working toward a degree in any college or university in Arkansas anytime during this past summer semester through the next spring semester of 2015. You do not have to be a business student. You can be studying agriculture, health, hospitality, tourism, science, automotive, engineering, retail, any program of study. You can also team up with others either on campus or with your friends at any other college or university for the competition. You also have a chance to win cash prizes that you can spend any way you wish. The total prize pool for the Reynolds Foundation for the competition in 2015 is $154,000. This isn't an easy competition. Putting your idea onto paper and thinking of all details is a challenge, but it's a real world process and the experience you gain will serve you well into the future. Here's what some past Governor's Cup competitors have to say about their competition experiences. I think the experience competing in the Governor's Cup taught me a lot about what it takes to get a business off the ground and running. Um, some friends and I tried to start a company once uh, shortly after I graduated from college, uh, learned a lot through that experience and, and really relied upon a lot of the knowledge that I gained during the competition uh, in the Governor's Cup. Uh, I have my own business now and so I think it's definitely something that helped instill an entrepreneurial spirit in me. One of the biggest values you get out of the Governor's Cup is, for us at least in the undergraduate program, it was the first time that we were given the opportunity to take a, a, an idea and bring it from idea all the way to fruition. Uh, you know, often in school, you're given a task and you're asked to do something specific. Here, we were just told about a competition and together we created a, a team, we built a plan, and we, so from the ground up, we started an organization. And that's one, it was one of the most valuable experiences in my entire educational career. The judges in the competition encouraged me to uh, actually live this out. Um, so I take away the fact that a dream can actually be a reality. I learned a lot about presentation and really interacting with people and, you know, investors, potential investors and or sources of capital. Um, you know, lots of young people have great ideas and one of the big things was you need to be able to find a source of capital and really Governor's Cup, even after the program, it let me learn a lot of skills where I can approach someone and clearly explain what my business idea is as well as ask for some money. I do not understand why every single collegiate group, organization, anything doesn't compete in the Governor's Cup. It's, you know, it's no risk and it's an excellent um, teaching tool for college students. I think even if you don't want to start your own small business, if I think when the year I competed there were several medical students that um, just had a thesis or a great idea that they wanted to present. So it's not just for business students. It can be for anyone and I think it gets you clout it gets you uh, recognition as a university. It shows a real good faith effort in putting some time into your students and their personal development. And so I say every institution should be involved in the Governor's Cup. Through competing in the Governor's Cup, we formed relationships that are obviously still around today. Uh, we, the, those relationships were external with investors who have invested in us, but also between the two of us um, and, and others that have allowed us to go off and actually start the company. I mean, at the end of the day, if it weren't for the Governor's Cup, Movista would not exist. The skills that the business plan competition teaches students is invaluable. I'll tell you, if we didn't start IPROV immediately, it wouldn't have mattered. We would have started a company in the future anyway, because now, because of the business plan competition, I've learned things like problem solving skills, how to develop a team, how to plan out, how to research a business, 
All those things allow me to create a business. Now, there are two ways to learn those types of skills. One is to go out there and do it, which means you're putting actual capital at risk. Maybe you're getting a loan and you might, you might default on a loan. Or the other option is to get involved with something like a business plan competition, where you can do all parts of starting a business, except for actually starting that business. But that skill set you learn when, when, when competing in this business and competition provides more value than any one company could ever spur up. It's great to hear these stories and those of other past competitors about the impact of the Governor's Cup. We're really looking forward to seeing what great ideas will be coming from our colleges and universities in 2015. We'd love to see you in the competition. Here are some important dates that you need to know. On January 20th, the intents to compete are due. We need to hear from anyone that feels like they may enter the competition, even though they're not sure yet. This gives us an idea of how many judges to recruit. Of course, if you know you're going to enter, please send in your intent to compete. A month later, on February 20th, that's when the business plans are due. On March 12th, we will make an announcement online of the semifinalists and finalists. And from there, those teams will come to Little Rock at the Embassy Suites for oral presentations on April 2 and 3. Then we keep all the results from that week a secret until the big day, April 22nd, the Donald W. Reynolds Governor's Cup Awards Luncheon in Little Rock. Everything you need to know about how to enter the Governor's Cup, also the rules and the business plan contents, are on the website that you see here at the bottom of the screen dwrgovernorscup.org. Take a look. We really hope to see you compete in 2015. Thanks a lot for listening and good luck on your school year.